place before all of this began? Well, we actually met at Ryan Cabrera's house. <laughs> we uh, he he did those live from Ryan's living rooms, right. and uh, I've done a few of those back in the day. And Mark came to play guitar, I think, for one of our good friend Travis Garland, yeah. and then. Ryan saw his guitar skills. He's like, oh, man, you should play the next one. And then the next one, he, I was playing right before Mark. So, Mark, you can tell the rest of the story. Yeah, so I, I, ca I came in, and uh, I was running a little bit late. And I, I was kind of expecting it to be chill. He's like, you like know, more of a like, living room vibe. Yeah, it's like living room vibe. I'm like, oh, cool, it'll be like 15, 20 people. Yeah. No, this was like, it was like a raging fraternity house in there. Yeah. It's like 200 people in there. Okay. And uh, when I got there, BC was on stage. And um, I couldn't see her because it was so packed. I could only hear her. Okay. And um, I just remember being blown away by her voice. Yeah. And the sound of her voice, it kind of reminded me of, you know, it, it reminded me of like Janis Joplin. Right. So I was expecting to see Janis Joplin. Someone who looked like <laughs> someone who looked like Janis Joplin. Yeah. You know, like hippie with like you know bottle of Jack in their hand or something. It's not too far fetched. <laughs> and then um, you know after she finished her set, I was up next to and I was you know setting yeah. up and she was tearing down. And I remember uh, looking at her and thinking, looking at her and thinking, no way that voice came right. out of that cute little. So, blonde. first of all, I know you like whiskey, so we'll we'll, we'll, like we'll talk about that in a little yeah. bit. But first, so so you see her perform live at the party. Yep. At some point, you walk down to her and you introduce yourself. Well, I did my set and okay. I didn't think anything of it, and and uh, BC actually stayed and watched. Okay. And yeah. I noticed, so I was giving it. Yeah, he was yeah, yeah, lots yeah, of yeah, hip yeah. thrusts. I was giving it like a little <laughs> extra this and that. Yeah. Of course. And um, afterwards, I came and. And I'm not good at this. I'm not good at walking up to girls and being like, That's what he said. I'm that's really that. not. And I was like, yeah. okay. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. So I just, no one was introducing me. Right. So I just kind of had to go and right. plunk myself Do next to her. And I was like, hey, I loved your voice. She was like, I love your guitar playing. You know, I was like, we should. Uh, we should go out. And I was like, you know we what? should write. You, you, <laughs> you got to appreciate somebody who does that though, because uh, it, it's, it's kind of sincere. It's true. It's like, hey, look, I'm. I'm terrible at this, but you know what? I have to. I have to talk Unless to you. it's a line, I, like he uses on every true. girl. True. I, I know Mark, and I, I think it he's wasn't a, a line. It wasn't a line. It was definitely like you blew me away. Right. You're also right. really pretty. You know, would yeah. you want to? You know, mm -hmm. go get a drink sometime. And she was like, "Yeah, we should write." She gave me the industry thing. She's yeah. like, "Yeah, you know, I'd love to write for you." Yeah. And yeah. I was like, "Oh, I was thinking like." <laughs> uh -huh. to, you know, my margaritas right. or something. And she was like, "No, no, we should write." Then she blew me off actually for two months. I was more into like a group thing. Ah, he wanted okay, to go okay. to the movies. I was like, I don't even know this guy. What is he going to try to do at the movies? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she wouldn't text me back. And I remember like it was around Halloween time. Yep. She wouldn't text me back. And then I saw like on her Instagram, she was out. I was like, whatever. Yeah. I'm not, what, but he seemed so nice. He had kind eyes. And I always re remembered his kind eyes. I was like, I really do. I do think that we could be friends and write. And maybe something would happen, but I don't want to give him the wrong impression. I just wasn't there. Mentally, right. So then you know? she, she caved. And then she I let said, me, okay, let's go for Taco Tuesday. We went to El That's Carmen. That's cheap enough. I don't owe you anything. You guys did do Taco Tuesday. There. We went we to did. El Carmen on 3rd Street. That's hilarious. And we were there for, good. what, five, five and six hours? hours? I think yeah. that was a much better day than going to the movies. You yeah. Know, you talk oh, and yeah. hang out. It's real low-key. It was casual. just a suggestion. Yeah. Yeah. You know, movies. It's bad so, tacos. Okay, so you, you, guys, you guys do your thing. You guys obviously click, and you and you guys become a couple. Fast yes. forward. Fast forward to the point where you guys are like, okay, wow, look. I mean, you're talented. We're, I'm talented. Let's do something together. Let's make something happen. How did that? How did that happen? About a year and a half into our relationship, actually. We've been together a little over three years now. Right? Yep. So a year, year and a half in, I think Mark called me and was like, we never, we've never, never written a song together. We should, we should probably do that. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, we wanted to just do something super honest and raw and no pressure. Just let's write a song. Let's mm -hmm. sit down. On, we sat down on his couch, pen, paper, bottle of wine, guitar. That's it. No mm -hmm. phones, no computers, no bells, no whistles. And we just wrote a really organic heartful song and um it's actually going to be on the ep right. it's called head high and from then on we we listened back we're like this is interesting this is pretty unique well we, we, we wrote it for fun yeah, and yeah then we we're like wait maybe we should record fun. it why don't we record it see how it sounds yeah so we went into the studio about a week later recorded it we brought in you know everything was live we brought in a string quartet hand played percussion i did all the guitars we vocal produced each other we did it all ourselves and when we were done we listened back and we're both very, also very honest with each other and with ourselves. We're right. like, ah, oh, that's cool, you know. Yeah. But I was listening back and I was like, there's something here. Like, I'm feeling something. And I looked at her to make sure I wasn't crazy. And she was like, no, I, I, I feel it too. And at the same time, we were both kind of like, maybe we should. Maybe there's a reason why yeah, maybe we should our paths have crossed and, and we're supposed to join forces and take over the world, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, after that, we started writing more. We got in the studio more. Um, you know, I'd say we recorded up to like eight tunes. 
And then um, we put the first single out, Roses and Violets, yep. last year. Mm-hmm. And it ended up going up to number one on the singer-songwriter chart. It went to number six on the pop chart. And, charted uh, in seven charted countries. Charted in seven countries. Pretty cool. And it, it was really, really cool. And it was just a really exciting time because this was all kind of done off... Passion. Passion and, and yeah. for fun and just for love nothing the music. Nothing forceful. Yeah, nothing was forced. It all just kind of happened. Passion, chemistry. Yeah. A yeah. little bit of wine. It's the way it's a little bit of wine. Little you know? Yeah, just <laughs> elevate. I saw the video. <laughs> Which, I saw the video, the, the acoustic video. For yeah, the acoustic, oh, yeah, which yeah. is great. Thank you. Um, how did you guys... So so first first off, let's talk about you and, and then the whiskey because I hear you're like a super old soul. Like oh, you love the whiskey and you're so like, old. Like, I just who drink are so you much. inside? <laughs> She's Janis Joplin inside. Is that what it is? <laughs> so, yeah, maybe. For those who don't know, uh, uh, BC wrote uh, Beyonce's uh, "If I Were a Boy." Yes, right. Yes. She did. How was that? What, what was that? How did that come about? Well, I, well, I was writing my album at the time. Okay. Um, I was trying to get signed. I was 20 years old, 19 years old, and. Um, I went through a really bad breakup and it was my first love, my first heartbreak. And then the first and only song really I wrote about him was If I Were a Boy. Mm -hmm. And um, a little bit, a couple months later, I found out Beyonce heard it, random, (laughs) totally random. And she's like, I have to sing this song. And I didn't understand at the time. I I now consider myself a songwriter and can write for anybody at any time. But then I I only wrote based off of my experiences for off my diary entries, you know. And so it didn't really connect why Beyonce wanted to sing a song about my (laughs) ex-boyfriend. You know, I didn't really understand all that yet. So it was a pretty cool experience. Did did you get to meet her in the process? I have never met Beyonce, no. Oh, okay. So something like that, when, when that happens in the industry... They just, she's like, okay, look, Beyonce's gonna gonna sing your song, and then right. it kind of just gets sent off, and and that's how it works. Something like that. There's a few, it. there's a few more details to it, but pretty much, yeah, you make a deal, you know. So we're about to watch people. you guys perform, but but then there's you too, right? Yeah. I mean, I I don't know if you were born with a guitar in your hands because you, I saw you at the Sarah's Club a few times, uh-huh. and, you're, and you're insane with that thing. Oh, thank you. So for those who don't know Mark Ballas on on on. Everything that you can do, which is guitar, how did that begin? Uh, well, my dad was a amazing flamenco player, okay. and my grandmother was a flamenco dancer. Right. And my uncle also played guitar and percussion. So, um, and then I have my three aunts that play percussion, dance, and <laughs> it was kind of like a thing in the house. Like around Christmas time, you know, my dad would whip out the guitar and he would play yeah. like Maladena and, cla- and you know flamenco yeah. classics, and then my grandma would be giving you like. Ah, <laughs> ah, you know, and we don't. We were kids. We were little, you yeah. know. And, and at Christmas time, I always remember, oh, Grandma's about to whip out the castanets because she'd be like, Brrr, and she was amazing. <laughs> like it really was mind blowing. Is it intimidating to go to the club with them to go like, to go out dancing? <laughs> no, I'm a goofball. So oh, after you, you know, right. after a couple whiskeys, I think I can keep up. And he's like, babe, don't do that. <laughs> don't I love do your that. goofy moves. This is a lie. I love her goofy moves. But um, you know, I, I, I would be intimidated. I'm just saying. No, you hey, shouldn't I, be. Maybe in the shouldn't beginning be. I was a little intimidated, but no, I'm, I'm, it's good. I like it. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I picked up the guitar when I was nine, and right. I've been, um, you know, been playing for over twenty years now. Got so. it. It's the okay. other woman in our relationship. Yes, it is. Yes, yeah, it but is. I allow it because it's okay, you know, right? Yeah, it's helpful. It helps. So. Yeah. Yeah. so let's talk about a thief, which is the the, the next yeah. single coming up on the EP, right? Yep. Thief is coming out March eighteenth. March eighteenth. Yeah. March eighteenth. Yep. So, so what's um, the song about? Oh, well, it's kind of the the flip of the switch where the woman, you know takes the pants, but the okay. man doesn't really know it. And um, it's basically a man that has hurt a lot of girls' hearts and kind of Casanova, if you will. And then yeah. I come in and... The hunter becomes the hunted. And then I, I much, trick him yeah. and I get him and I dump him and all of it. that fun stuff, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> and the uh, uh, is there going to be a music video to follow or any... I'm sure that we're, we're, we're figuring all that out now. We're going to do a, a video for it. Uh, it comes out March 18th, and then in June, we're going to be uh, following it up with an EP as well. So Very nice. Yeah. Is there going to be shows, tour, anything planned coming up? We oh, are yeah. actually planning to go on tour in June. That's so, going to be awesome. Um, okay. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. When the EP comes out, we'll tour that EP, and we're actually constantly writing and recording and you know getting our material together and whatnot. We'll have a couple of LA shows. I think we're gonna, we've got a, maybe something coming up after the, the single drops, but mm-hmm. you know we'll put it all on the socials and, yeah. and stuff like that. We've been playing a lot of shows. We're actually going to South by Southwest. That's awesome. Which That's is going to awesome. be cool. We've got two shows there. I remember seeing you at the Sears Club, right? And uh-huh. you, you invited me and JoJo. We were, we were in, in the little, you know, in the front. I had no idea I was sitting next to DJ Tanner from Full House the oh, entire yeah. time <laughs> until Tanner. the very end of the night. There's always Candace, a lot yeah. of fun people showing yeah. up there. So. So, so The media has, has titled you guys as like a power couple. How does that make you feel? 
Powerful. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's very nice. Thank you. You know, um, we'll take it. Yeah, yeah. I love cool, that. Thanks. Why not? <laughs> Do you guys have uh, uh, more outside of music planned together, uh, just in general with art or via just personal? Oh, well, we're, we're, we're getting, engaged. We're getting engaged. We're getting married. That's mar- right. We're getting Congratulations, married this year. you guys. That's Thank awesome. you. And so, yeah, we're, uh, we're hanging we're, out with our dog a lot. So <laughs> We're picking a date right now, so uh, uh, we're getting cool. married this year. I'll send so. you my address after the yes. invitation, okay? Yeah. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Alexandra Jean, give it up, you guys. Thanks, Thanks for being here. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Thanks for having us. us.